<sighs> Why is it so hard to go into a store and just aim to get one thing that you're supposed to get that you really need and then you end up spotting something that you don't really need and you end up buying it anyways. Well, I went to Dollar General the other day and, um, and I mainly went to get milk. And then I walked out with three puzzles. Now, the good thing about Dollar General is, well, for the name, it's meant to be fairly inexpensive. And I saw something that I haven't seen at a Dollar General before. I don't know if I just never paid attention to it. They seem to have started building a shelf for puzzles. I'm a bit shocked. I kind of almost feel like they care about me. They literally had something standing in the middle at the end of an aisle that said puzzles, I think. I don't, I don't even remember what it said. I just remember seeing boxes that had pieces on them. Dollar General is starting to grow their puzzle collection. And what's even better is that for these big ones, they're only $5.60. Is it? $5.60. To be honest, it's not a bad way to feed the habit. Especially with, you know, times being rough and everything. You know, you, you, you can't be spending too much on yourself nowadays, you know, for, for pleasure. You gotta save your money for necessities like food, shelter, water, electricity. You know, you don't need this, but in a way you kind of do for, you know, your own sanity. And $5.60 is not a bad price to charge for a 1,000 piece puzzle. Now, how is the quality? I don't know. I'm, I'm very interested to find out. But what's even more interesting is that not only do they have 1,000 piece puzzles at $5.60, they have, where's my receipt? This one cost me $1. $1 for a 500 piece puzzle. That's a pretty darn good deal. I mean, it's a very pretty picture. I kind of feel like I'm... I want to be transported into that image. I mean, that's kind of the thing with me and puzzles. You're creating an image and basically you're slowly transporting yourself into a different place and time, a different reality. Basically, it's not real life. But, I mean, some of the places around me look like this. But this is not bad for a dollar. Quality? I don't know. We'll see. So I ended up buying three in total. And again, you know, my my milk, I went a bit over budget. Not by a ton, but I mean, I guess it is a ton when you only go in for milk and you walk out with three puzzles. Feeding your habit on a budget is a thing. So we have a 500 piece puzzle from Dollar General for $1. We have this pretty this is a, you know what this one reminded me of this one actually reminded it, it kind of gave me thomas kincaid feels it's not a thomas kincaid painting but you know it kind of gave me that feeling of like look at the artwork and the the trees and the lighting and the little house like i kind of want to be in there i want to kind of be sitting on the grass in front of that house looking at the balloons you know just you know now that i think about it this image doesn't really make sense but it's pretty and then i bought a third one because this was kind of cute it kind of reminded me of an old the uh, illustrations of an old children's book this is another 1000 piece puzzle and this one's kind of cute again it reminded me of like a a child storybook illustration that i used to see when i was little um it's a food and drink place which is like you know that's my kind of place i, I want to be there i want to be going down those stairs in front of all those flowers I kind of want to sit down over there and have some tea from the tea room. Five sixty for eleven, twelve bucks. You can't go wrong for three puzzles. Quality? I don't know. You know what? Let's open this up and see how good this looks. We're just gonna take a quick peek. They're very small. Which, yeah, hello. They would be small, wouldn't they? Oh my! Look how little those are. Where's the camera? Focus. Focus. No focusing. 
Um, I would have thought they would be more flimsy. These are actually pretty solid. Like, they they don't... I'm pressing on them, and they're not bending like paper. They're pretty solid pieces. You know what? And this is the dollar one. I'm impressed. I'm, I'm actually quite shocked. Look, I'm trying to bend it. It's not really bending. Well, what do you know? That's not bad. Look at that one. Yeah, these are pretty solid pieces. I kind of like that. I'm shocked. That's pretty good. Now I want to see what this is like. I kind of don't want to mess it up. Where's my scissors? Who stole my scissors? Oh, darn it. I messed it up. Yeah, I would do, wouldn't I? I'll mess up the box. There we go. That's one side. Let's see if I screw up the other side, too. Uh, I kind of kind of grazed it a bit. Ah. Let's see what this looks like. I got to remember I opened these. You know what? I kind of feel like the one dollar ones were a little stronger. Maybe because they were tinier. Yeah, they're a little, you gotta be careful with these. I guess because they're bigger pieces. The one dollar pieces were, um, the pieces themselves are smaller. So I guess, you know, they didn't, there's not much area for you to like kind of mess them up. I would be careful with these. They're slightly bigger than the one dollar piece puzzles and they feel a little thinner. Still, to be honest, that's, that's really not a bad deal. That's, that's some good stuff. Well, they did have more puzzles. And you know what I did after I went to that Dollar General? I went to the other one down the road for me, just out of curiosity to see what else they had. They didn't really have anything. Dollar General's around my area. I'm in Pennsylvania. There's literally one like every two minutes. And recently the stock hasn't been that great in general. But I can say, if you need a quick fix, or if you've done, you've had no puzzles at home, you've done them all, you want something different, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, go check out your local Dollar General. Three puzzles for 12 bucks? That's, that's a good deal. You could feed your habit that way. You know, every now and then it's nice to treat yourself. It doesn't have to be a lot of money at once, you know, a little here and there. So that's more to add to my collection. I can't wait to put those together. We shall see. Anyways, until next time, see you in the next video.